The three-day workshop is aimed at capacitating female MPs to advocate for and promote women's issues in Parliament. The workshop is facilitated by a team of experts from the Inter-Parliamentary Union and advocates for full and effective participation of women in decision-making and for women to be considered on equal footing with their male counterparts. The Parliament of Namibia and the Inter-Parliamentary Union have a track record of collaboration in the area of gender equality. Executive Director in the Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare, Martha Mbombo, says it is the duty of the state to take appropriate policy and legal measures to eliminate discrimination against women. Namibia signed and ratified the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women and its optional protocol. The state has to take measures to eliminate entrenched discriminatory cultural practices. It's not just cultural practices, those that are discriminatory. Yes, so, so others talk about harmful cultural practices, but Sidao talks about discriminatory uh, cultural practices. So states have to take measure to stop all forms of trafficking and exploitation of prostitution of women. So all these things are expected. We have signed and ratified to say we will do our best to eliminate this. That, that's why we have uh, Trafficking in Person Act and, and so on. So there is prostitution of women here. We have to take steps. So I know other people want prostitutes to be legalized, but Sidao doesn't say so. Uh, states has, has to ensure equal rights of women in, and men in public and in private life. In public, for example, in, in taking part in political, uh, uh, political activities. Women make up only 25,6% of parliamentarians worldwide and they continue to face many obstacles threatening to remove them from political life. Mbombo says there is need to promote equality for women. We have to ensure effective access to protection orders, reparations, shelters, psychosocial treatment and counseling for women and girl victims of gender-based violence in the state party. We have to increase participation of women in formal economy because our report has, has reported that more women are in the informal economy. We all know that that more women are in the informal economy and it's low wages in the informal economy. Uh, ensure that women uh, employed in the informal economy are covered by social protection services. The Interparliamentary Union is an international organization of parliaments of sovereign states established in 1889 to promote representative democracy and world peace.